Hey everyone, this is Joe with Sound and Video Solutions. Just wanted to give you an overview of how to set up your LED ground mount. You should be receiving your ground mount and something like this, nice and bubble wrapped. Uh, just make sure that you're careful opening this up as it contains a couple of several parts that are gonna be vital for your installation. Here are some of the pieces that you'll be receiving as part of the installation of this. A couple of bars that are gonna help keep the LED ground mount support safe and structured, as well as these uh, tubings, these square tubings, and the rest of the equipment to make this all happen. What you'll be receiving are these bases, uh, which are detached from uh, these, this mechanism here. And you'll see that you have two feet in the front and one foot in the back. All are adjustable with your height depending on your structure. So basically what you wanna make sure is that you have these all the way up so you have as much thread as possible. I'll explain that to you in um, this next uh, segment coming up of what, why that's for, as well as the one in the back. So two in the front and one in the back. Here's a, some of the equipment that you're gonna be getting, uh, some of the material with the equipment, uh, as far as setting up your ground mount. These bars right here are gonna come first, detached with these uh, little pins right here. So you're gonna go ahead and install them down in the ground, and they have to line up with the holes. One hole's bigger than the other, uh, according to the pin that's gonna be going in. Once you get the pin in on the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and use these little pins here to secure them in place. And you'll also get this insertion. Go ahead and put it in according to the size. Then you go ahead and put your bar on and your pins in place. Starting with the bigger side, you're gonna to wanna to need uh, to use a hammer for this to get to drive it all the way in. Once you see your hole on the other side, you'll go ahead and place your safety pin in. If you need to make an adjustment, you'd have to um, see more or less, like right here, for instance, you just reach it from the bottom. Okay, next, you're gonna see these uh, square tubing pieces that are gonna come and lay across the front base of your bottom of your LED wall. You'll also see this little coupler here as well, similar to the ones that we just showed you, as well with, the, with the, uh, a bolt and a nut. These are gonna attach just like this, with the holes matched up to the actual length of each of your platform. Go ahead and grab your screw and your nut and secure them in place. Make sure to use uh, two drivers. Right here we have on the back end is the 17 and then a crescent wrench for the front. Gives it a nice, secure tight. And how far and wide are these bases supposed to be? It's a great question. Um, you'll see here, once you have this assembly with your three pieces or how many pieces you're gonna use, I'll go ahead and line up your holes with these uh, feet right here. So you'll line them up and then you're gonna go ahead and just put it on top. What I've done in the past too, what can help is to have a long level just to make sure you can know more or less how level your front is gonna be. Okay, next we have our back bar support. And what I, what I recommend is using two of these. And these come, these, these came um, really well um, designed. You'll see here that you have a wing nut and a nut, uh, as well as two spacers. And they're gonna go just like this. You wanna have them loose a little bit until you have both of them in place. Second one's gonna go right above it here. Same thing. I would recommend to double check these after your installation just to make sure they're nice and tight. Let's talk sandbags and different sizes according to what you purchase. So here you still see we have our 40 inch standard base ground mount. There's also a 32 inch base and a 20 inch base. But depending on your circumstances and what your environment is going to be, if it's an outside ground support, inside ground support, I do highly recommend you use sandbags. And you want to make sure that you, your weight is going to be a little bit more than your total panels and wiring combined. For this um, system here, I would recommend to have one here, one here, and one on the back for each, each ground mount support. 
And just to reiterate, for safety purposes, uh, you want to make sure that your front base is level. So this bar right here is going to make or break uh, the way that your LED wall sets up and its uh, long life durability. All right, for uh, this installation purpose, I'm going to go ahead and use our two, two of our outdoor P391 rated panels and show you how to get started. You'll receive a, a box of these, these screws and these are gonna go along with these brackets here, which you'll mount to the outside of your system bar here. And these are gonna line up right here with each panel. And what I highly recommend is you only get about three to four turns in. You don't wanna go all the way tight. You're gonna tighten it at the very end once all the panels are um, complete. Right there, I would say a quarter inch. Quarter inch of where you're gonna be. And as always, um, on your first row, your first row is gonna make up the rest of the panel. So you wanna make sure the top is gonna be as flush as possible. Once you have those in place, go ahead and lock them in from the back. All right, and just to reiterate, these screws and the bolts in the back, you want them to not be super tight. You want them to be about a 1 8 inch away from the plate. Enough to give it sturdability and enough for it to be ready for the next panels. As you go and do your first row and second row, you're going to notice that this has a little bit of playroom. Keep this loose as well till the very end so that you can get all your bolts in there. Then once you're completely finished, you go ahead and tighten all these bolts. I would even say it's safe to tighten the row as you go. So you'll, after the first row is in, you'll tighten the first bottom two. You do the second row, leave them loose. And then once that one is all completed, you'll tighten these bottom two and then the next ones. Safety is always first. You wanna make sure that all your bolts are tightened at the very end of your installation, making sure you're not missing any of your pins or anything. You wanna make sure that everything looks level as well as all your brackets are level just so that you can make sure yourself a nice and secure, that all your sandbags are in place prior to everything being installed um, according to the weight limits of your panels and with said um, cables at the very end. Keep in mind um, that your stage load requirements or re recommendations, as well as um, how your ground mount support looks. If you're gonna have an event where there's a lot of jumping, um, take that into consideration. Be mindful at making sure that your ground mount support does not sway or becomes a safety concern. Thank you again for watching this video, tuning in, and hopefully we're able to walk you through this installation of your LED ground mount and look forward to seeing you once again.